Hello and welcome to the August 29th episode of This Week in Kirkland, the official podcast of the City of Kirkland, bringing you timely topics and noteworthy news delivered to you every week. I'm David Wolbrecht, Communications Program Manager here at the City, filling in for Jim Lopez, who is currently out on a break. And I'm joined today by two members of the podcast team. Kate Ryan. And Anthony Girardi. As well as our very special guest, Neighborhood Resource Officer, Tiffany Trombley. Mm, thank you, thank you. Happy to be here. And welcome yes. back, Tiffany. So glad to have you back and going to be hearing all about this year's Community Police Academy. Ooh. Such a right. fun, popular program. Excited to dive into all that. But before we do, here are the topics we're covering this week. A few reminders, including Labor Day closure... Houghton Beach and O.O. Denny Park are closed to water activities and our Kirkland Cares low-income support program. Plus, join the KPD at their annual Cadets Car Show, a reminder to move right for sirens, a fundraising opportunity for nonprofits in our community, and what's coming up at Council. Mm -hmm. And a reminder that we always have links and more in the show notes for all of our items. Yep. But first, before we dive in, our big story of the week... After months of anticipation, drum roll, please. <laughs> the Kirkland Teen Union <laughs> Building, K-Tub, will be reopening next week. Woo. And so we talked about this last week on the podcast, yeah. mm -hmm. but this is such a huge deal that we wanted to highlight it again. Yes. Each weekday, teens can dive into art, homework help, games, socializing, as well as, get this, access to essential mental health services at no cost to the participants. Wow, that's this is great. a really yeah, so great, great place. Mm -hmm. Now, K-Tub will be open five days a week, Monday through Friday, starting this Tuesday, mm -hmm. the 3rd. Mm -hmm. And the city will host a grand reopening party on Wednesday, September 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. So come check out our newly reopened K-Tub. Nice. Such a great thing. Yeah. Also coming up on September 3rd, the next meeting of the Kirkland City Council back after their August break. So here's some of what's currently on the agenda. On the business agenda, some miscellaneous zoning code amendments, a check-in on city council policies and procedures, as well as an update on Energy Smart Eastside. And prior to the business agenda on the study session, they'll discuss the preliminary six-year capital improvement program, which council will adopt later this fall, as well as a third briefing on the draft housing element of the comprehensive plan. And a reminder that council meetings are streamed live on the city's YouTube channel, Facebook page, and website. So, Public Health Seattle and King County is recommending that people and pets stay out of the water at O.O. Denny Park and Houghton Beach Park mm -hmm. for at least one week. So, Again, yeah. Yeah. the, the yep. latest back and forth, open close drama of right. the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, and right. And so... <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's two things going on yeah, here, right? Yeah, tell us, Kate. So, first is uh, water quality staff from King County tested the water at Houghton Beach Park recently and found that those levels of bacteria exceeded safe thresholds. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned, mm -hmm. that's our summer protocol yeah. Yeah. Uh, closure happening there. King County crews will return to the beaches next week to collect further samples. Yeah, and so one thing that everyone can do to help with this is n not to feed waterfowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times if folks are feeding geese and ducks, that can be a contributing factor here. Yep. And, yeah, Right. And then for O.O. Denny Park on Tuesday of this week, construction activity in the area caused a rock to enter the sewer main line blocking the flow, and it caused a sewer overflow into Denny Creek and Lake Washington. So mm -hmm. crews have confirmed that the overflow has stopped, but King County does recommend no water activities for a week, just mm -hmm. for safety. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, water activities are closed, but the rest of the parks remain open. Yep, That's right. And while we're on the topic of safety, let's remember to yield for emergency vehicles. Tiffany? Oh, yes. Agreed, 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 yeah. Agreed, <laughs> agreed, yeah. <laughs> so it not only makes for a safer environment for everyone involved, but it's also the law. Yeah, it's an easy way to avoid a ticket. Just move out of the way when you hear the sirens. Not only is it the law, helps drivers, responders, uh, and those in need of help. If you cannot move to the right, slow down and come to a complete stop. And when approaching parked emergency vehicles with lights or sirens on, drive cautiously. Mm -hmm. So... Are you a car enthusiast? Yeah. Anthony, looking oh. at you. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. My go -to. trucks. Yep. Okay. RC. Well, uh, <laughs> any car enthusiasts out there should come on down to the Kirkland Justice Center for the sixth annual Kirkland Cadet Benefit Car Show on Saturday, September 21st. This is a great family-friendly event, and it's a fun way to support our Kirkland Cadets youth program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so swing by. You can chat with fellow residents, Kirkland police officials, Kirkland cadets, and check out some amazing cars, tasty barbecue, and a fun awards ceremony. Awesome. Yeah, now, Tiffany, right. this 
you're involved with this, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So what what is this? Like, why are we doing this? What's up with the Cadet Car Show? Our Cadet Car Show helps with some of their uh, funding for their training. So mm. they get to participate in a statewide academy two times a year. Awesome. And this helps with the amount. Um, yeah. that they ha- would have to pay to go to these state academies. Oh, and it. so ah, um, ah. it's a really cool thing for them to do that and to showcase, um, you know, building community relationships and mm-hmm. things that we mm-hmm. want to see from our yeah. volunteer cadets here in our program. That's so great. And, That's of course, awesome. the Kirkland Cadets is a youth volunteer program where they get to learn all about what it's like to be a police officer. Mm-hmm. So don't miss out on the Kirkland Cares Low Income Support Program. Applications are accepted now through the end of September. So act now. And Kirkland residents can apply and receive discounts on utility rates, pet licenses, business licenses, annual vehicle registration, and other city services if they qualify. Wow. You can check if you qualify with a simple chart with numbers for different household sizes on our website. The city has allocated nearly $600,000 in funds to support these eligible households, so there's money on the table. Don't miss out. Okay. Nice. Are you part of a nonprofit serving the Kirkland community? Well, we've got an opportunity to increase your visibility. The Kirkland Parks and Community Foundation is launching a new grant opportunity called Ignite Kirkland. The foundation encourages nonprofits in a range of areas, including arts and culture, community, education and innovation, and more. Now, grants range from $1,000 to $5,000 with a simple application and reporting process. Applications are accepted now through September 16th, so get them in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And approved nonprofits from that application process will be featured in an online catalog to accept donations, and Mm -hmm. that'll happen later on in November. Oh, that's pretty neat. So a little fundraising option to it. Exactly. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. Get in the catalog now and then get some grant funds later. That's great. Well, looking ahead to next week, city administrative offices are closed Monday, September 2nd in observance of Labor Day. Yeah, but city services normally accessible through email and over the phone will resume 8 a.m. on Tuesday, September 3rd. And as always, fire, police, and other critical services will remain fully operational. All right, and looking even further ahead, here's some upcoming events for you to check out. We've got Sea Spot Splash at Peter Kirk Pool on September 7th. City Hall for All on September 14th. Upcoming CPR training at Fire Station 22 on September 19th. And a future women in EMS and fire workshop on October 19th and 20th. Awesome. Nice. Well, mark your calendars, folks. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to our five over five. That's five questions in over five minutes with our special guest. (laughs) <laughs> Neighborhood resource officer Tiffany Trombley. Welcome. Yay. And Ooh. baking aficionado. Oh, I feel yeah. it. I feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back, Tiffany. So excited for you to join us again. Mm-hmm. Is this the second or third, third time? Third time. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Third time's wow. a charm. Yeah, yeah, going for the hat trick. <laughs> I right. like it. Um, you're here to talk about the Community Police Academy. So cool. Mm-hmm. So cool. Well, we're going to dive into all that. But as you know, we first like to get to know our guests a little bit more. So will you please remind us what you do for the city of Kirkland? Well, as stated, I'm the neighborhood resource officer for the police department, Mm -hmm. which I'm just going to do a little plug here. We now have our second neighborhood resource officer, Mm. Officer Paul Arnold. So hopefully he'll be a guest on the show at some point. Very exciting. And uh, we're the liaison between the police department and the community and also with the city. So that's just some of the stuff. Wow. So building relationships, getting all out in there. Yeah, exactly. The neighborhoods love that. So... What are you doing for fun these days? I vaguely recall last time there's some sort of like grilling situation coming up. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Labor Day is coming up. Known yes. for its grilling sometimes. Known for grilling. <laughs> Not that- to like paint you into a corner there, but what do you no, got going on? That just really sparked some um, ideas there. So, you know, I do love a good burger. So I'm thinking oh. maybe hamburgers or yeah. something like that. Yeah, okay. love that. Yeah. P- pickles? No pickles. No pickles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm like a. Mm, fancy burger, bougie, okay. bougie burger okay. person. Okay. Like so blue, cheese. blue cheese. I'm ah. talking like Hawaiian burger with the grilled pineapple oh. and the slice of ham and oh, I, wow. Hawaiian bun. Yeah. Okay. Go big or go home. Hey, so this, go. this Labor Day then, it's the barbecue. Yeah. Okay. Over at my house. <laughs> 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 yeah. Neighborhood More research officer. More yeah. the merrier. More the merrier. That's community yeah. just liaison. invited 90,000 community members. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Awesome. A lot of pineapples. Well, uh, yeah, bring your own burger fixings. Uh, well, 
That's so great, Tiffany. Hope you have a good time at your barbecue. Um, you're here to talk about Kirkland Community Police Academy. Mm, yes. Okay, so what is going on? What is the academy? Thank you for asking, David. The Community Police Academy is probably one of my favorite things to do during the year. We do nice. offer it in the fall every year. And it is a chance to get a behind-the-scenes scoop of your local Kirkland Police Department. Okay. So ah. that's any resident or a community member that works in Kirkland mm -hmm. uh, can sign up okay. for the Community Police Academy. It's open right now. Open <laughs> application. Open application. <laughs> Act now. Act now. <laughs> we have a limit to how many people we want to accept into the academy. Sure. So please make sure you get your application in so that we have the time to do the things that we need to do to get that going. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's exciting. So so is this just like a, a, a one-off? Is this an afternoon mm -hmm. or what are we talking about? No, it is a once a week on mm -hmm. Wednesdays from six to nine um, and a series of eight weeks. Oh, we're oh, wow. starting September 18th. Okay. okay. And then so, going for eight weeks And then we're going to go for eight weeks. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. What all do you cover in this, in this eight week program? Exciting to ask, Anthony. We are going <laughs> to talk about our canine. You get an opportunity to see the UAS system. Mm -hmm. We are going to have an opportunity to learn about what our officers do for their training okay. and uh, mm -hmm. do a simulation. So it's oh, an exciting wow. time. What's mm -hmm. a simulation? Yeah. So, uh, because we believe in partnerships, we partner with an, uh, another agency and we get to use their simulation machine and you get wow. to be an officer in the scenarios that our officers oh. actually go through. Oh my, oh my goodness. So is it like VR? Training. Yeah, not VR. Oh, okay. It's a big room oh. that you're in. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's cool. Very cool. It's like a hands-on, yeah. hands -on. behind the yeah. scenes, behind the scenes. really learned it all. Mm. But also the all the training that goes in for police officers to be able to use those things. Absolutely. Because there's a yeah. ton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And so ongoing, of course. It's so. like Absolutely. a little flash in a pan police academy for community members. Exactly. Mm -hmm. really you cool. should well call it like Anthony. community police academy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really descriptive. Shocking. So... So can anyone apply or do you need to be able to do like 50 push-ups or something? Mm, I do want you to be 21 <laughs> years or older. Okay. okay. And um, again, we would love it if you were a Kirkland resident or worked in the sure, city of Kirkland. But otherwise, mm -hmm. it's otherwise, wide open. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone who just wants to learn. Okay. Yeah, nice. nice. Encouraged. Now, you've been doing this for some time. Is that right? Is that? I, I believe it's my fourth community police academy. Oh, wow. wow. That's fun. Yeah. So, when, it, yeah. when it stopped in 2020, just when that happened, uh, yeah, okay, we got happened. to bring it back up, and it's been very exciting. Yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite part about the community police academy? My favorite part is the relationships that I get to build and meet with community members that may have mm. been initially hesitant to learn about the police department. Mm -hmm. And wow, what a change at the end. We become best friends, as I like to say it, <laughs> um, and but really are ambassadors for the police department in the city afterwards. So okay. it's great. Wow. That's wow. cool. I'd imagine it, it helps to destigmatize, you know, yeah. the work that you do and, uh, you know, when people are there and they get hands on, you know, and just get to experience it. Yeah. And I hear different stories of experiences and it helps me learn something from each person that's been in the academy. And it, mm -hmm. I take away with, yeah. oh, maybe I could approach that situation a little bit different. So there's a that's piece so that I, great. yeah, yeah. yeah. true also. relationship, that's kind of right. learning in both directions. That's yeah. right. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so you said applications are open now. When? What's the window? When are they due? We are closing the application September 4th at 12 p.m. So get them in, get oh, them in soon. quick. Okay, okay yeah. got it. And there's still some spots available. Okay, There are still some spots Great. available. Great, fantastic. Well, Community Police Academy, if you've ever wondered what's going on behind the scenes with our police department, mm -hmm. now is the perfect opportunity to find out. A perfect Tiffany, indeed. thank you so much. We do have one last question. Do you have a favorite movie, show, book? What are you reading or watching these days? Oof, I have to give a plug here to the Blue Ribbon Baking Championship. <gasps> uh, yeah. Of course, okay. another baking show. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is new. This is a new one. This is a new one. And <laughs> I, I describe it as... Palm Royale, because their outfits are really cute, bright, <laughs> and beautiful, mm. uh, meets a great British baking show, of course, a uh, fan fave uh, over yeah, here, right. uh -huh. and it's great, and you can win a ginormous blue ribbon. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there you go. That would be That's really classic. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess I have a question for you. Where would you put that if you won, <laughs> yeah, if you won that? Well, Ooh. I feel like if, so, so we've been watching the show. Um, 
Yeah, and it definitely is like the American version of Great British Baking Show. Um, uh -huh. I do feel like all those people are like fair, like F A I R, like they oh, go to the fair, yeah. like champions <laughs> sure. as far as like mm. their pies mm -hmm. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so they would probably just add it to their shadow box of all the other blue ribbons that they've won. Oh, okay. Mm. Would be mm. my guess, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it would take up your entire refrigerator if yes. you were putting it on there. It's <laughs> like Boy. mounted to the wall in yeah. your storefront. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know. I was thinking front door, I guess. A little too <laughs> braggadocious. Ooh, oh, like a wreath. Yeah. 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 I, like I like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Is it a, is it a humble brag? Is it a... <laughs> Brag, brag, no, no know. humility uh, there. Yeah. The if it's the big blue ribbon, <laughs> hey. it might need to be. <laughs> there it is. Well, really fun show. Um, yeah, we're we're on like episode four or something. Mm -hmm. So nice. it's good stuff. Nice. Well, Tiffany, please, will you stick around for our pop quiz multiple choice trivia? You know it. Ah, good. One of these answers puts the pedal to the metal, while the others are just doing donuts, which means we just <laughs> made them up. I love Very how nice. our writers didn't even know this, but. They, the donut reference with the bake show. Mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. Slash mm -hmm. the police yeah. officer with the donuts. Like, <laughs> let's put that oh, out wow. there. That's like triple. <laughs> wow. Triple. Yes. Like, a triple and entendre. it's my third yes. time on the show. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Brain explosion. <laughs> right. Mind blown meme in the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the show notes. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. So good. Okay. Uh, so, two fake, one real. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Option A. The first auto show took place on the Champs Elysees well on said. December 11th, 1894. Okay, so okay. first auto show in Paris, Champs Elysees. Okay. okay. 1894. Uh, okay, option B the most valuable car in the world ever sold at auction was for $30 million. Holy moly. Mm. Wow, for a car. Solid okay. gold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, okay, option C, fuzzy dice instantly triples, triples a car's collectability. <laughs> <laughs> that one's true if it's a hot okay. rod. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Triples. That's a very specific mathematical that, that is. Um, explosion. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that one is because it's also Tiffany's third time on the show. <laughs> triples. <laughs> oh, 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 Anthony. Yeah. Yes. And fuzzy go. dice. Is that Tiffany? Do you see? F I actually, <laughs> we we did the read through. Uh, listeners, we we do like a kind of a, a dry run read through the the day before, and, and then I was driving home yesterday, and I yeah. saw no, someone had fuzzy oh, dice. <laughs> there and I was you like, go. Whoa! But it was yeah. in a 1998 Dodge <laughs> yeah, Neon. Exactly. But it was triple in value yes, from the $6, blue book. Yeah. Now. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, thirty million for a car feels like a lot. I don't know yeah. unless yeah. it's like maybe like the first. Whatever. Challenger from yeah. Vanishing Point or something. You're like a collector's mm. car. What about Fast the DeLorean Furious? from Back to the oh. Future? 30 million guys? Ooh. Nothing. I mean, does it still get up to 88? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. an older vehicle. <laughs> Gosh, I, I don't know. I, uh, I, I, mm. After watching the Olympics, I, I, a lot of I saw a lot of cars driving around oh, the Champs okay. Elysees. So I'm gonna say okay. that one feels like okay. maybe I could see some old Tammy Roadsters whipping hey. around that thing. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, and that was right around the time where them automobiles started mm -hmm. coming in. All oh, right, right. Okay. Is, so is I, Mich Michelin attached to that at all? I don't know. I have no idea. Cut that That's if not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fact check that. And, and why fact. did I go M Michelin stars? Like for food. Well, right. Yes. Well, yeah. Fun fact. The Michelin star system was created by the Michelin tire company so that they can encourage people to drive to restaurants so they'd have to buy more tires. Oh. Wow. Anthony with a preemptive. <laughs> did Ooh. you know? Mm, they just ran it around in there. Yeah. <laughs> well. The correct answer is, in fact, the Sean's Elysee. Hey, all right. So, uh -huh, okay. a a record breaking for the time, nine cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're on display. All nine that were ever built at at that point were on display at the International de Velocipede, Velocipede et de locomotion automobile. I'm so sorry, yeah. everybody. Wow, that's, that that's hard. That was bad. That's hard. I, I know some great. of those words. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually, the mm -hmm. show dropped the bikes that were also originally involved, mm -hmm. and it just became the Paris Motor Show. Wow. Nine oh, cars. Do you think there was, like, any sort of, we can't have all nine cars here, <laughs> the world's going to tip over? <laughs> like, <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be an interesting fun fact. 
And the Rolls-Royce Droptail, the most expensive current production car in the world, costs about $30 million brand new. Oh, wow. The most valuable car, as determined by its price at auction, is a 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uhlandhaut Coupe mm-hmm. uh, prototype. It sold for about $142 million in 2022. That's oh. more than $30 million. Wow. <laughs> we were way off. We were was, way off. That was like uh, triple $30 you're like, million. like, that's way too much money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Well, did you know? Fuzzy dice came from a good luck ritual. Oh. World War II pilots often would put two dice, showing a total of seven pips, on their instrument panel. Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, tra- I don't know if it translates to the vehicles. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering yeah, where the fuzzy yeah. came in, but you <laughs> yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> well, I feel like I learned a lot. Thank you all. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, thanks so much for being on the podcast. Thank you. Yes. Can I just plug here our Kirkland Cadet Car Show on September 21st? Because we're of speaking cars. of cars. Hey. Nice. Thank you. There may <laughs> or may not be fuzzy dice in some of the cars. I hope there's fuzzy dice. That would be amazing. <laughs> awesome. Well, Increase thank you. votes. Increase, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they automatically get triple the votes. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. And don't forget to sign up for the Community Police Academy. And that does it for this week. You've been listening to This Week in Kirkland. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share. Special thanks to Victor Durantes and Chris Peterson for their behind-the-scenes magic. Thank you. Thank you. Our next episode is September 5th. Until then, stay stay connected, connected, Kirkland. Kirkland.